With each new arrival at Brun Rasmussen, a journey back in history begins. The story behind this particular package begins in a melting pot of art, Paris during the 1910s. In the early 20th century, Paris attracted artists from all over the world. In this international atmosphere, different stylistic movements flourished. In his Galerie de l'Effort Moderne, the art dealer Léonce Rosenberg exhibited the work of leading Cubist artists. Among the artists on display at this gallery was the Polish-born artist Henri Aydin. While living in Paris, Aydin became interested in the style of Cubism. And in the late 1910s, he painted Cubist works, such as Les Trois Musiciens and the related work of Breton. We can now present Breton at auction. The title Breton presumably refers to the motif of the female figure, as well as Brittany in France. Here, Paul Gauguin, another source of inspiration for Aydin, found success with his depictions of local women. Unlike Gauguin's women, Aydin's figure in Breton is depicted in the condensed, fragmented and multi-perspective style of Cubism. This depiction challenged the viewer to accept less traditional views on art. Perhaps this challenge to the viewer also played a role when the painting was discovered by a new owner many years later. CWF France has been described as the epitome of a classic Englishman, always wearing immaculate suits and tailor-made shoes. During the post-World War II years, Mr. France established a name for himself in Denmark as a furniture manufacturer with the company France & Son. He collaborated with many well-known Danish furniture designers at the time, including Finn Juhl on the Japan chair and Tuve Kind Larsen's armchairs. France was an avid collector of modern art and often placed his paintings together with the new furniture pieces in ads. In this ad, Aydin's Breton hangs above an oval dining table by Witt or Mölgro. A similar dining table is also up for sale at the coming auction. Aydin's painting Breton will be unveiled at our preview for the upcoming live auction, where you can observe for yourself the fascinating details of this layered painting.